always took my last bitch, you be my last bitch. Till I find that she was a savage. I ain't have shit, but that was bad then. Now I'm established, I got magic. Yeah. Fuck love, that shit don't belong here. I wish I knew the devil was so pretty with the long hair. Yeah, fucking with me niggas out of town. Yeah, I'm just hoping that the kid. Hey YouTube, it's your destiny, the real pretty destiny my first ever youtube video so if i start stuttering or if i don't know what to say for a minute or if i go silent y'all need to remember that i don't do this so it's new to me so just bear with my newness in this i'm learning okay i'm learning so basically i'm doing a story time today on how my family and how i found out i was pregnant so yeah subscribe to the channel um follow my instagram and go follow my tiktok because i'm always posting tiktoks so yeah love y'all okay so basically i'm gonna do how i found out i was pregnant the night i got pregnant is fourth of july um i am currently still pregnant i am 24 weeks now let me show you my belly let me show you my belly this is my belly. Let me show you the other way. Hold on. Oh my god! Wow! So, that's my belly. But basically, I got pregnant 4th of July night. That's the night I got pregnant. Um, So, I probably found out that I was pregnant like two weeks later or three weeks. I know it was, it was the same month that I found out I was pregnant. It wasn't too, too long after um but yeah so i took a test because i was throwing up a lot like i was basically throwing up for a week straight and i kept telling my cousin i was like bro like i keep throwing up like i threw up today again i threw up today again i threw up today again and i think it was a friday probably and on the friday she was like girl it's time to go buy a damn test like what are you doing so that same day i went to buy a test so I bought a test that day. I went back upstairs and I took the test. And both of the tests came out positive. And the dark, the dark, the lines were pretty dark. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. Dumb lines, dumb lines was dark. So oh my god, my hair is just irritating me. So those lines, they was dark. So I had FaceTime both of my cousins, and I was like it's positive so they was going crazy on the phone they was like what the fuck what are you gonna do what are you gonna do so um i told my baby daddy after he was happy we basically we already kind of figured it was gonna happen we already know we already knew it was gonna happen like come on now we already knew we knew what we was doing so um yeah that's how i found out that i was pregnant so now how my parents found out i was pregnant they didn't find out I was pregnant until I was like 15 weeks because when I went to the doctors I was 15 weeks so like they didn't know I don't know if it was 15 it was either 13 or 15 weeks I don't really remember that good it was a, a while ago so um it was either 13 or 15 but basically I would always talk to my little sister about it my little sister like been new when I first got pregnant, like, she, she knew. Like, I told her everything. I was my little sister everything. That's not my best friend. So, I told my sister I was pregnant. But she would always ask me if I'd gotten my period yet. So, me and her were sitting in the living room. And we were talking about it. And I did not get my period throughout my whole entire pregnancy at all. I still haven't gotten it. Some girls will still get their period. So, that's how it, like messes some girls up because they don't think that they're pregnant because they're getting their period you know so i stopped getting my period the moment i got pregnant so basically i was literally sitting on the couch like telling my little sister like i have not gotten my period like still at all because she's always asking me so i was telling her that i still haven't gotten it so little did i know my brother's mother on the phone she heard me saying that so she told that to my dad so keep that in mind because this is how it's going to yeah 
so she told my dad that she heard me saying that in the background to my little sister boom okay um my little brother's mom is a different mom than me he has different big mothers so that's one of his big mothers so yeah then a couple days after that i snuck my baby daddy's i snuck my baby daddy into my father's house and what happened that morning we're getting ready and my dad leaves to work he would leave to work before i went to school so he left to work and my baby daddy was under my fucking bed he was under my bed and my my father went to work so my dad went to work and my baby daddy was still under my bed so i saw him like get out my dad already left <laughs> whatever but mind you his girlfriend was still there and if y'all don't know, in New York, it's railroad apartments. So it was a railroad apartment, but it wasn't one where you had to go through, like, my room to come out of the their room. It was just, we had a, a room in between us, which was my little sister and my brother's room. And we had a door right there. We had my door, and then it was their door, like, the door for them to go to the living room and to the front door, wherever they wanted to go. So technically, they didn't have to come in my room for nothing you know so whatever so i'm guessing while me and him were getting ready we were talking so i guess she heard us i don't know i still don't know to this day and me and him left and we left she could see us coming out of the building from the top window because she was in the room so she seen us coming out and getting an uber so then my dad texted me and he was like, what are you doing with that boy? Why are you with that boy again? Because, like, we already had a couple of times where I got caught with him. And, like, my dad already knew who he was and stuff. All right, y'all. I'm sorry about me pausing and stopping. I hope I can add this into the video when I figure out how to edit a YouTube video. But, anyways, so where was I? Um... So yeah, we already had a couple of times where my dad already my dad already knew who he was. Whatever. Knew he was my boyfriend. Whatever. So he basically texted me, was just like, What are you doing with that boy? Like, why did you walk out the house with him? Why did you have him in the house? So my dad didn't think that he stood over the house. He thought he probably still don't think that till this day. So he thought that he just came upstairs like while I was getting ready and was just there with me and we went to school together no that's not what happened baby boy <laughs> but um dad if you watch this video love you a lot but yeah so um then i got to school whatever um i was very anxious to go back home because my dad was saying he was gonna take my phone and when it comes to my phone i don't play that <laughs> and i hate getting my phone taken because i can't talk to my man so um basically i was like not with it the whole day and scared the whole day so yeah whatever went to school my dad picked me up from school the moment i got in his car he literally told me to turn off my phone so i turned off my phone gave it to him he was on the phone with my grandmother from florida which is um if y'all know i went from new york to florida so i'm in florida now so he was on my, he was on the phone with my grandma from Florida. So I'm like, why is he on the phone with her? So the first thing that he says is, "Oh yeah, and don't worry, I'm gonna pregnancy test her." When I heard those words, guys, I already got a positive pregnancy test plenty of times before. He said that I already knew I was pregnant. I was already like in my third month or fourth month. No, probably like third month. So whatever month you're in, when you're 15 or 13 weeks. So. I was literally like shitting my pants that whole car ride and I was so scared to go home because my father was just about to find out that I'm pregnant and who wants to find that out about their 15 year old daughter nobody I think so um basically yeah um they was talking about that and then that's how I found out that the way he knew to pregnancy test me was from his baby mother because he told my grandmother, oh yeah, um, I'm not going to say her name, but my little brother's mom told him that she heard me talking to my little sister about not getting my period. 
so she said it as like oh you should like pregnancy test her because i heard her saying that she hasn't got her period i didn't say like she didn't hear me say i was pregnant but she heard me say i haven't got my period so whatever 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 we get to the house he made me clean up my whole room like he made me um throw out all my makeup he threw out my makeup on my lashes and i literally had got a new pack of lashes like two days before that on my lashes on my like um he wouldn't let me get acrylic nails like this so all my glue on nails anything just anything that made me look not more grown but like just anything so he made me throw out everything basically and I had to go downstairs, take the trash downstairs, and throw everything out myself. So I was really mad about that, but I wasn't even that mad because I was like, bro, I'll just get that stuff again. But I was just mad at the fact that, like, not mad. I was, like, terrified at the fact that he was literally about to find that out. So, anyways, yeah. Fast forward, I went to sleep. I woke up from my nap. When I woke up from my nap, it was that pregnancy test time. So I woke up and the moment before I walked out of my room, I seen the pregnancy test on top of the counter. So they were in the living room, so they couldn't see, like they didn't know that I seen it, but I seen it. So I was just standing there and there was like, no way of me speaking to my baby daddy and like getting him to calm me down or like anything. So I was just standing there and I was like panicking, panicking, panicking. Cause they're literally about to find out. And I don't know if I thought I was gonna hide it forever, but yeah i would never want to go back to that day because mm -mm. so basically he was like you're going to the bathroom because he heard me and i was like yes and he was like okay and he told his girlfriend to come to the bathroom with me so she could watch me take the test so i peed and she's literally standing right in front of my face and i peed inside a cup and she drew the pee out and put it on the thing i already knew it was gonna say positive so i walked out of the bathroom I walked to the bathroom, I was in the room, and she was like, we're gonna have to take her to Planned Parenthood because it's dark. It's very, very dark, these lines. So, yeah, that's, that's how that, that's how they found out. So, basically, then he called my mother and like, you know, well, he didn't call her. He sent her the picture of the pregnancy test. <laughs> And was like your daughter's pregnant so my mom called him literally crying bawling her eyes out and that is what like that literally broke my heart bro because i know that that hurt my mother i mean i know it hurt my dad too but he didn't really like express it the way that she did so i couldn't really feel his pain like i did with my mom but i really i like i knew that that really like yeah so um she called and she was just like that's yours like you're really pregnant that really came out positive whatever whatever she was saying and i was like yeah that's mine i'm pregnant so then they were just asking me the regular parent questions like you plan on keeping it like da 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 da, -da. and my dad was literally like talking to me the whole rest of that night trying to get out of me what i wanted to do and i wasn't gonna tell him that i was gonna keep it so basically yeah that's the story of how they found out if y'all want to know like the rest of the story like what i did after that so my baby wouldn't get hurt and still pregnant now so yeah so if y'all want to know the rest of the story on how i got here then either comment or you could either put it on my tiktok and tell me but i'll do um a part two to this story time i know this video is already going to be kind of long so i'll do a part two to this story time um if y'all get it to a certain amount i don't know what amount yet i'll put it at the end what amount um but yeah just get it to those amount of views and those amount of likes and i'll do more or actually no 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 i'm gonna make it easier if y'all get me to 200 
and 50 subscribers because i know i'm already close to 200 so get me to 250 250 and i'll do part two so yeah y'all i love y'all and i hope y'all liked my first video it was kind of difficult and not easy to do this video because i'm not used to this and i'm kind of shy a little bit but i hope y'all liked it stay tuned for more videos i love y'all follow my instagram follow my tiktok and subscribe and like <laughs>